great on KQED about a week yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, as soon as we heard uh, the broadcast on Forum, we heard Erwin, we shut the office down, we turned the radio up, and we took copious notes as to exactly why you are in the right, why we are in the right, why the USF administration, and by the way, I'm an alumnus of University of San Francisco, why it is completely reprehensible as to the fact that they decided to corporatize an amazing community-driven radio station like KUSF. Right. Naturally, based on the eloquence of what Irwin had to share and the forum that I attended last week at the theater, University of San Francisco, secured, I think, what we felt in our very gut, that it's time we speak out, we be forceful about the demand that the University of San Francisco rescind their decision to sell KUSF because of their own profiteering motives to sell to a station of all stations and one in Los Angeles. They sold it to Los Angeles in the old West, to completely support the amazing 33 year or so programming that really brought together an intelligent, brilliant, diverse family from around San Francisco that represented the very kind of values and ideals and the outlook that is representative of San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's frustrating. It's, immense, it's an immensely frustrating to see an alma mater, but to see a private university, but to see sort of the Jesuit ethic to be botched and really bastardized in the way that it was, in not really, I think, signaling the respect, just on a very common sense level, the respect to all of you in the family of KUSF in their idea of selling the station in advance and not providing maybe the first right of refusal to this community so that maybe there could have been some troubleshooting, some problem solving, so that people may have been empowered to come to the table themselves and say, listen, before you go to the first resort of selling it to a station in LA for 3.75 million, maybe together as a community, we can do something ingenious. Maybe we could come as a collective. Maybe we can put the money together. But none of that discussion was allowed to take place. I find that unconscionable. I find the evolution of now what has since unfolded and what we've learned more about this transaction completely worthy of fact that today at the Board of Supervisors meeting, I'll be introducing a resolution. It's already been co-sponsored by Supervisors <laughs> Eric Marr and John Avalos. Yeah. 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 That, speaks to, that speaks to the very scenario as to why you and us are unfortunately here today. Now, I, I don't expect that we don't really have the kind of legal authority to change their minds at the University of San Francisco. But I agree as people summed up at the forum last week. In order to keep this issue alive, in order to try to win hearts and minds, we're going to have to press forward in a very public and overt way so people understand what a travesty this was and it should be corrected. Thank you. Everybody.